Hello. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> how you doing? I'm alright. I'm a bit pale and pasty, but it's alright. All good. Look at his feet, how he's set. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday, I think. Um, Caroline is just giving Ellis his food and we're just making some coffee. We've got Caroline's sister, um, her partner, and uh, Caroline's dad, Ellis's granddad, and Ellis's aunties coming around today. Um, but we just want to check in and say, how do you do? He's very cute. He's a very pretty boy. He's lovely. Oh, hello. <laughs> Auntie Faye. Go on, cry for it. Go on. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, it's just a bit late in the afternoon. My sister and her wife and my dad also came over, but everyone has left now. Um, and thought I'd show you. I just had a delivery from All Plants, which is basically um, a food delivery service. I'm out of breath. I'm just standing up. Oh, a food delivery service, which... Instead of where you make the foods, actually frozen foods they send you. So I'm going to show you what I got. So there we are, it's literally just boxes of frozen meals. So this is kimchi grain bowl. A little, well, you can't really see it, but it's literally a frozen meal. Sour and spicy kimchi stirred through seared tamari mushrooms, mixed grains, crunchy corn and edamame. And the instructions are there on how to do it. So yeah, I mean, I haven't really done a very good job of showing you I've got. So we've got smoky sole chili, kimchi grain bowl, golden sesame satay, rigatoni bolognese, uh, rigatoni carbonara and teriyaki udon. All of this is vegan. Amazing. And yeah, that's that. I don't really know what else to say. It's all frozen meal. So this will, um, one of these will serve two people and we thought we'd get that for dinners so we don't have to worry about cooking the next few weeks, well I say weeks, next few days obviously with a baby it's a bit more faff having to do everything so yes, very excited to try that although we do have some food in the fridge we have to eat first. This dude, he waved, oh no. We are just sorting out, um, we're finally getting around to sorting out the spare room here which we had used a sort of dumping ground over the past week. We had, um, after I get, um, we had Ellis, I, I, I gave birth to Ellis, um, we just dumped my hospital bag um, in this room, along with some other bits. Um, I thought I'd just show you some bits that my sister and her wife gave us, and some other bits. So yes, here we are. There he is. Sleeping, having a jolly old time. Um, so my sister and her wife bought us these little bits, which is um, obviously some jewel bibs and a muslin cloth, which are very, very cute, with foxes on. Then um, my mum's cousin gave us these, which is a really nice dragon or dinosaur, jelly cat, comforter, and a cool little book here. If I were a puppy, my tail would be furry there and then this box here which we've rifled through because we're very excitable people and can't be patient and unwrap things neatly um, this is a box from my friend Gabby she's online known as um, Little Briar Rose I will link her Instagram down below um, she has four boys and she has sent me just a bunch of stuff which she like hand-me-down sort of thing she no longer needs and she wants to pass on to me and well more for this chap 
and there's some really nice things and I'm just like wow I wasn't expecting such a such a haul <laughs> um, I just thought I'd show you some bits for example this really nice Mickey Mouse or Disney baby grow we have a Mickey Mouse one and the good thing about these they have no feet um Ellis is really really long so it's good to have things with no feet so it fits into them some really nice little cardigans Oh, and this one, moccasin, well, there's two of these, but the other one's lost in the box. And moccasin shoes. I'm just overwhelmed by everything. So thank you so much, Gabby. Um, much so appreciated. I can't believe how much stuff she sent. I had to show these as well. Look how sweet this is. I love this. Look how colourful that one is. Some elephants. A bears. And this is from Jojo Mama Bebe. Which is a great place. Some more elephants. Some chicks, a Winnie the Pooh one. This amazing Tigger shirt, Tigger trousers. I mean, Gabby, you're too kind. Oh, amazing. This is what we're having for dinner this evening. Um, it's a bit late to and we should be eating some mouldy apples. Um, yes. And um, this is the final Persian? No, final something. And that's everything is recyclable, which is always good. So yeah, looks delicious. Cool, right, it is our nightly routine of Ellis screaming and us trying to stop him. And that's that. So I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and go to bed and hope that Ellis doesn't scream all night long. Every night. What are we doing tomorrow? We're registering him tomorrow, which will be exciting. He'll become an official person. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> A nice noise. We are all suited and booted. It's Wednesday, by the way. I'm not sure if I told you. We're all suited and booted. Alice is. Wrapped up like a little cherub. Yes. Oh, bless you. And we are on our way to go and make him an official human being and register him. So we're going to go right now. Look at that. He's an official person now. You have a full name. You're now going to have to pay tax. Not right now. Not right now, though. This little outfit. It's from Gabby. It's great. It's got elephants. All over him. But there he is. We produce an official human, Carolyn. Oh, how sweet. We just stopped in the coffee shop, the deli, for a coffee, an appetizer, and a hug. Just a bit like an, some, an elf, is it, or a gnome? There we go. Back to the fussing. Doing my uh, my usual my job as as a dad. Burp him after he feeds. It's like a little elf. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's nine o'clock, and I'm pooped. The baby has been awake for a while. Uh, he woke up at one, needing to be fed. Um, woke up again at five. And then, for about an hour, about an hour, we we'll listen to this. I 
hiccups and the grunting and the hiccups which is so cute but when you're asleep you're like oh my goodness oh dear good job you're cute mate otherwise there'd be an issue here it's quite content though <laughs> it's not even rocking he's just happily just chilled there Today, we're getting Kiva back. That'll be interesting. She's not going to be too keen, I don't think, on Mr. Man, but she'll have to get used to it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all that's happening today. One thing I'm going to do is set up my Cheeky Wipes kit, which, if you didn't know, Cheeky Wipes are reusable wipes. It does sound a bit daunting and a bit gross. Um, they look like this. And basically, yeah, you just have you mix it with some oil and some water and like oh, but it's like essential oil, it's not like olive oil. Like essential oil is like tea tree oil and I can't remember what the other one is, but it's upstairs. Um and you mix them with essential oils and then you use them when you change as nappy and it obviously saves having to buy disposable wipes and obviously it's better for the environment because um disposable wipes a lot of them have plastic in. Oh, cutie pie yawning. We have been using these ones recently, Did it, as we've just been getting used to having to change nappies. Mum and you, 100% biodegradable ones, but obviously um, it's still waste. The, the plastic packaging has to go in the bin. Anyway, well, I'm going to have some breakfast before he needs his breakfast. Look who's back! Kiva! She hasn't paid much attention to Ellis. Yeah, <laughs> she uh, just had her first experience of him screaming. She didn't seem too fast, but then I did spend the whole time stroking her. Yeah, good doggy. Good doggy. I'll tell you something about this parenting malarkey. The days go so quickly. It is unbelievable. It's four, four o'clock. I'm still in my pajamas. I still really, I brush my teeth and that's about as far as I've done, uh, as far as I've got today by getting ready. Um, my parents came around this morning, oh my god, look at my eye bags. Ooh, so I thought like that for the whole time. Um, my parents came around this morning and dropped off the dog. Um, but anyway, I'm in Ellis' room at the minute. I need to tackle this laundry, but also need to tackle all this. Um, these are all clothes that we were gift we have been gifted by family and friends and stuff. Um, and it's all too big for him now. So I need to put it in storage. And the man himself is here. He's in a thing called a poddle pod. Oh. It's called a poddle pod. Um, it's there. A poddle pod is a big pillow with a bit of a dip in the middle, so he's a bit more contained in it, he can't roll off and roll away, but it's not something for long sleeps and it's just for napping, it's not for um, overnight and stuff. But yeah, he's so sweet. Just look at him. I mean, this must be what it was like inside the womb, but upside down. Got a lot more squashed. I would have liked to have seen how he was before they took him out. But no, I wouldn't have done that, that would have been gross. Yeah, and you wouldn't have seen it anyway. I don't think they open up the whole stomach to see it, they slice and pull. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's I don't they say babies can't see anything, so I'm sure he's not actually looking at the mobile. But it looks like he is. Is he looking at it? Who knows? Right, I look like a mess because I'm going to go have a shower now. My friends are coming over to visit me, obviously, not baby Ellis. He's in his, he's in his best dress. Put these cute socks on. Which are lions. Just giving him a, a miniature bath with cotton wool because we still can't wash him yet because he's still got a belly button. 
um, he's still got his belly button um, umbilical cord, sorry, so they're still slightly attached and you can't wash, or you can't give a bath, a, a baby a bath with that one because obviously it has to stay clean and dry. So it's given him a cotton wool bath all over, which he didn't actually hate as much as I thought he would. But yeah, I need to jump in the shower now. Sean's going to take over baby duties. And yeah, he's looking very smart in this outfit. Hello! Um, I'm not sure what has been vlogged today, but we had some friends around. Oop. to see Ellis, who is now fast asleep in a in a thing that I really wouldn't mind if they're made of adults. It's called a puddle pod. I, I spoke about it yesterday. Actually. So our friends, uh, when they came around today, they brought us a gift or a couple of gifts, a couple of fantastic gifts. Um, these will be. Well, they are for Ellis. Obviously, we as parents don't get gifts anymore. Um, but when they give gifts like this, I don't care. Number one. You ready? So, obviously, Mickey Mouse hat and then the best pair of Mickey Mouse pants. The next gift needs some context behind it. Uh, my name is Caroline. Uh, and I have ginger hair and when I was in sixth form um, my friends shortened I guess yeah shortened my name to carrot because being ginger and carrot line obviously so geniuses yes so my nickname for a lot of my friends is carrot so obviously Ellis has this one of the best things in the world it's like a, he is meant to be a swaddle that he goes in there like a sleeping bag and obviously a hat. I don't think he'd sleep in this because I don't trust think... it. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't say I was a sleeping thing, but for a photography uh, session, again, it's too big at the minute. That's just, that's his whole his whole body at the minute. Boy, oh boy, is this boy, oh boy, is this boy gonna hate us? Yeah, but I think this is great. Look at this. I mean, for the love of God. Oh, that's fantastic. Right. Um. So Sean has just taken Kiva out for a walk. She hates going on walks in the dark, so she wasn't thrilled. Ellis is in bed, which is a bit odd because he he usually screams. He usually feeds quite for quite a long time in the evening and then screams. Um, and that hasn't happened this evening. So, not sure what's going on there then. Um, so I'm just doing a quick whip around and yeah, tidying up a few bits and I'm going to go to bed myself. Um, obviously I'll be waking up at the crack of dawn to feed him again. So yeah, that'll probably be it for this week's vlog. Um, so we'll see you the next week's. See you next time. Bye.